Well, today is the first day of November, and we are expecting some lingering cool air across much of the central part of the nation, the Midwest, the Great Lakes, and the Ohio Valley, even parts of the Northeast dealing with some chilly conditions. And then the uh, northern tier of the nation will be a little bit on the snowy side, even for the high elevations. That's where we expect to see some of the heaviest tallies over the next several days, and then a southern severe threat coming up as well. All right, high temperatures from average today from Montana to Minnesota, all the way down to Missouri, and then back up into a part of the northeast. Well, we're about 5 to 15 degrees below average. Look at this warm up, though, along the front range from Colorado down to West Texas, a good 5 to 15 degrees above average. From Denver down to Dallas will be uh, in the 70s, maybe even flirting with 80, even down near Houston, but there will be a little bit of rain there. 38 only in Minneapolis with some snowfall early, changing to rain. And then as you head back to the north again, we are expecting those uh, temperatures to be a little bit on the cooler side, but uh, we are expecting that snowfall to develop. So here comes the storm system. That area of low pressure will be responsible for some pretty widespread rain along the west coast. Nice to see that as, of course, uh, we have been dealing with wildfires. The wildfire situation uh, quite bad last month. Uh, so this rain and cooler weather will help. From the Midwest to California, again, readings will be cooler than average as we approach the middle part of November, but warmer than average from the southern U.S. to the eastern part of the nation. So there's that wintry weather. Again, some spots in the high elevations could see some 12-inch uh, plus tallies, even a winter storm watch for the northern part of the Sierra Nevada range. Again, the heaviest tallies will be found in the high elevations, but Missoula and Jackson, maybe some one to three inch tallies. So there's that storm system also picking up some rain across the west coast in California. And we're also looking at some wintry weather across parts of the Midwest here with some winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings. And that snowfall again could be adding up to several inches across the Midwest here as we take you into the next several days.